much as though he will be Zenit Kazan to get us underway here. The man with the ball in his arms is Artem Volvic. Three times a Champions League winner. Two with Zenit Kazan. He's going to get this super final underway here in the German capital. Stankovic trying to put that ball over there after the set from Bruno Resende, but well blocked there. will go again here, Paul Kazan. Stankovic with a delicately placed ball over there. And Gapet has to put it over. Resende. There for Sokolov, but Kazan has started ever so well. They have some extreme height in their side. Proven there. It leads 2-0. Success keeps on coming their way. Good spirit in this side. This can be seen from the early celebrations here. Zenit fans, just to the right there, plenty of Navarra fans staying behind to watch this second super final on the left in the darker of the blue shirts. Hit there by Osmani Quantarena, two metre tall former Cuban. Twice the Champions League winner in 2010 and 11 with Trentino. He was the MVP in both of those finals. Hit there by Mikhailov. Hey. 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 Oh. again going for that, but it's a Kazan point. They lead 5 1 early on here. And we have an early timeout called by Lube. So in total, just the one change made across both teams from their semi-final second legs. Kazan coming past Perugia, Samoylenko dropped out with Nikol Shestov coming in. Kazan leading 5-1. Alexander Putko, the setter, with this serve for them. Straight into Fontaine, he goes straight back over. Set here for the touch over from Anderson. Kazan looking so, so strong in these early stages. Celebration there. So outfits being worn by a variety of fans around the hall today. And straight back into Kazan territory. And they'll have a chance again with Anderson. Phenomenal start by the Russians. Who I should say come into this one having just lost the finals of their league campaign against Kuzbas Keremovo.
Johnson, as I said, going back to Italy next month. Straight into the net there by Alexander Budka. Seven two, a healthy lead in this first set. Bruno Rosende. So dad is here watching as well. He was here yesterday in the hall watching them train. He's taken his place in the stands. He watches Lad play in this Champions League super final. Oh, exceptional. Nika Shurstov there, 216 centimetres he is. to him in this final in terms of height. Matt Anderson, the American, with this serve for Kazan. It's his hand up in apology. Kiss of the ball from Juan Terena. Seven Champions League medals to his name. Inga Petz. Nonchalant touch there from the number nine. Oh, excellent. This has been a masterclass early on from Zenit Kazan. And they lead this first set 9-3. The serves that have let Zenit down so far. <laughs> Serve here for Gino Lube Chimitanova is Robert Lambi Simons. Three points coming into this super final, and Gapet again. And 57 for him. He also joined last summer from Modena. There's a Champions League silver in his locker. Looking for his first gold. An ace there from Mikhailov. Zenit Kazan pulling away in this first set. Once again, it'll be Maxim Mikhailov. To the right of Sokolov. The block there. As uh, the Volvic and Ingepet went up. Block just not doing the job for Lubeck. Zenit taking full advantage. They lead 12 points to four. Apprendere un ritmo di gioco come si deve. Eh, non chiudiamo gli occhi. Pensiamo a riapprendere il ritmo di gioco. Mettiamoci in quattro con Mikhailo in ricezione adesso. Così chiudiamo un pochino quella zona di conflitto. Vai, diamo la gara. Vai, 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 vai. Teams back out here in Berlin. Selling Kazan fans dancing and jumping around, enjoying themselves immensely so far. Some of the great leads. There by Sokolov, very much needed Lube point. Lube in the white and red, if you are just joining us, it's the blue shirts of Zenit Kazan. Svetan Sokolov. Oh, 
Gapet. A small man, he has an incredible spring and an abundance of power to go with it. There's no one close to stopping that. Bounds there onto the head of Leo. Right there by Anderson. That'll be another one. They are surging in front. Frenchman preparing this serve. Oh, has some power behind it. Over and out though from Johan de Leao. They might challenge the court. Referee confirms it. this at the moment away to our right hand side some of the Navarra players coming back out to watch this men's final no block touch that's what they were hoping for Lubeck Pets with the serve, but he hit the antenna with it. Still have a comfortable nine point gap though, the Russian side. They hosted the final four last year in Kazan, beating Lubeck in a five setter. This one looking a bit more one sided. Actually led 2 1. Did Lube in that final before losing in five? <laughs> it's over there by Volvic. Lube scrambling to get it back. <laughs> Karlov managed to get that one through. Stankovic there, Juan Terena. Good block. Good rally this one as well. Back to Juan Terena again. Mikhailov, great block. Stankovic. Monterena rose to meet that one. They are new to the side this season, and we joined from Brazilian side Sada Cruzeiro. Point Lube again. Some serve it was. My layout. The best server efficiency. 4.04% coming into this game. So six aces in the semi finals. His power from the baseline a short while ago. Here go Tigali there, who's been introduced to the action, the 20 year old opposite. <laughs> Slowly find their way into this one. You only lay out there. to Kazan. Dragon Stankovic serving. Keeps the net ever so slightly there. That one washed out by Juan Terena. Stankovic 
once more. Trajectory on that ball. Themselves back into this first set. Only five behind now. And served into Anderson's path. He takes it back. Hunter has kept that one in. Gapet. So by the Kashir stop. Uh, but Hunter finds the back of the court. Send everyone off the bench celebrating there for Lube. Watch this replay here. The Italian side slowly finding their feet in this one. Still trail. Doing much, much better. Though that his side carries so much quality. His side, they have the best blocker in Lika Shurstov, Budko, the best setter efficiency, and Gapet has the second most aces in the whole competition. Back underway, Anderson. And that one there off the shin of Juan Tadena. International 33 now, though. Bruno Resende, the Brazilian. Resende needed that from Anderson. Best of five sets, to remember. First of 25 with a gap of two in each half of the fifth and final set, if it gets that far, first to 15 in that. On <laughs> Terena, he's not going to drop, into the arms of Gapet. Mikhailov on the right, wrecks everywhere for Kazan. Good go for Mikhailov again. Going over to give a left know the high five. He's also in charge of the national team, so a busy few weeks for him to come. Also from Anderson. Terena once again. The tape there, which gives Kazan a chance. A big chance. As they hit double, uh, sorry, 20 points rather. Looking to win a fifth Champions League in succession. The first of those came here in Berlin where they beat the Polish side Resop in the gold medal match. That was a misjudged serve there. 
Uh, Luka Shurstov didn't get his throw into the air right. And left there by Volvic. Said it's heading in one direction. The Raiders haven't come up with the answers really to stop Kazan so far in the multiple threats they have across the front. Max McKayla. Good block again. Why they're so successful. All components of their game bang on. Twenty-two fifteen to Zenit Kazan. Closer. Lube can rule out this first set now. It's not happened for Sokolov, Pontere, and Stankovic and Co. Kind of on the ball in one hand here. There was another venomous serve. Sokolov. Sokolov was already celebrating there as Kazan raced around the side of the post to try and keep it in play. <laughs> Bouncing onto the Blue Bay bench in the end, and very close to making a collision with that man. to move on to set point, which they do as he goes out off one Torreira. 24-16. This to win the first set. Your head serve. Tries to drop it over the net there. Touched over by Anderson. In the end, was lay out over and out, and Zenit Kazan have done it. Step one of three complete for Vladimir Alekno and Co. They have been supreme in this first period. And the first, we will have a challenge. That's the question being asked. The answer is no. The point stands, the set stands, and Zenit Kazan lead 1 0 here. Lube comprehensively beaten, really. Zenit will be hoping for more of the same in this second set, which comes up here for you in a few minutes' time.
welcome back here to the Max Schmeling Halle. You can get involved with the conversation on social media. Hashtag Superfinals Berlin. Let's talk about the event overall. Or hashtag CL Volley M, which has been the hashtag throughout the competition. Lube here in a huddle have some real work to do in this set. Beaten in the first 25-16. And those fans who've made the long journey from Russia or perhaps Central Europe will be going home with big smiles on their faces. Bruno Resende has the ball here. As he looks to get that man's side back on level terms. The Zenit fans, though, enjoy themselves underneath that giant Russian flag. We're back underway. Second set of this super final. And Bruno serves straight out of play for a point to Kazan. Martin Volvic with this serve here. Down in by Robert Landy Simon. The winner of the CV Cup in the past with Piacenza against the Russian side Ufa. Playing in this fifth different country now. Has been around a bit, the 31 year old over the years. The pets. Had so much power on that hit there that the block went all the way out of play on the Zenit side of the court to the back. High to Sokolov on the right who gets it right. Two early in this second set. Three two here to Kazan. Clearly out of play. Manderson. Serial winner in this competition. Looking to make it five here tonight. With the local time just coming up to half past seven. Try and build up another lead at the start of this set. It's been impressive so far, Vadim Likashirstov. That's your old middle blocker, serving. Not very well, though. a gold medalist in the South American Club Championship. Slightly different format. So we're still very close here. Let's have a look at the action from the overhead camp. Shimitanova, 5-4. Great serve there, and it's an ace delivered by Yoandi Leal. Continuing his 
good form, serving, having done so well in the semis. Gapet receives. Back to Hervé Ngapet. Ngapet for a third time. Down. The referee saying that one hit the court. The Lube players less than impressed with that decision. Sometimes you can tell by player reaction about whether a call is right or not. Looks as though the Libero got his hand to that one. Fabio Balasso. I'd be surprised if this point isn't replayed. Duties. No. Moved and pretty motionless as ever. So we wait for a call here. the experienced official. He's been there, seen it and done it in terms of Champions League matches. And so in the end, referee got that one wrong and apologises. here on the official scoreboard. delivery there and it ends in the point to Zenit serves in this match so far. The standard very, very high. That one out off of Gapet. Not much better in this second period. Stankovic serving for Lubeck. Gapet. Return to him now. And Point Lube, the referee didn't like that. Legal action. The Lube complained straight away, in fairness to them. Because uh, Gapet kind of scoops that ball down. Of a clean touch. It was a great block. Luba have a chance now. Resende and put down there well by Simon.
timeout here called by Vladimir Alekno. His side 9-5 down in this second set. That be so good in the first. here at the Max Schmeling Halle today. The bronze medal match this year, unlike previous editions. Just the two finalists in each competition coming here to Berlin. And then we have the semi-finals over two legs last month. Here, 10-5 up. That one out there by Martin Volvic. Stankovic with the serve into Ngapet. That too, heavy in Ngapet. Stares out his opposition through the net there. to 
Set up here, trailing in the second. This is serve for the Russians. Stockage went for that one, he was blocked. Down it goes. He's certainly having a lot more joy.
Partizan, a little bit of hope here. They are seven behind. They're going to have to go on a big point-scoring run, which is probably unlikely. Lube have turned up in this set. back in March 2016. <laughs> certainly going to be Lube set. points to win this second set and level things up overall. Simon gets one of them. And takes it to set point. Do they have this one in the back? One terrain is served. Anton Gapet. Laura Lechner, back to Ngapet, out, Lube's point, Lube set, it is back level at 1-1. I don't think too many saw that coming the way the first set went, but credit to Lube, the Italian side responding ever so well, shutting off avenues as far as Zenit Kazan are concerned, stop them firing, and their own threats in the likes of Simon and the rest across the front of the net. It is level after a 25-15 win for them in the second set. The third set coming up for you in a few minutes time.
Welcome back here to the Max Schmeling Halle in Berlin. A packed crowd in to watch this men's super final of the CV Champions League Volley 2019. And it is one set apiece here between Zenit Kazan and Kuchine Ube Chibitanova. They're about to get underway in the third. Straight into the net, disappointingly. Well, Malik's at the board cut. They're scrambling here, and someone couldn't lift it high. that one over the net there, but couldn't get underneath it. Yeah. In the net there, and Gapet. I need him to come back in this set. Lube starting it well. 2-0 they lead. Send it. Surround with a poor serve. There. That point goes to Lube. Changing points early on. Things start to settle down again. Sokolov serve. The Bulgarian. He's named the best opposite in the Champions League last season, Svetan Sokolov. 29 now. One point for Lube. Young and old here this evening. Some able to cope with the noise being made more than others. Anderson hit that one. Do they get the point though? Is yeah, yeah, yeah. the challenge here? I don't know, certainly suggesting so, although that seems to have been decided against now. 5 3 Lube. Dropping out, but Lube saying it was an ace. Call challenged. The ball was it, it was an ace. Starting to feel this one again here. They were 
really up against it after that first set. They lead 6-3 here in the third. Ponterena watching this one drop, and he timed his hit to perfection. You can't follow the action on the CEV's uh, Facebook pages, CL Volley, and also on Twitter at CE Volleyball CL. Is serve. Simon puts it down. He is not messing around. Great play from the number 13. Brandon Stankovic. Simon again. Excellent stuff. We're on the Cuban middle blocker. Monster block there. All on his own. Did enough. 9 4. We got Pets. He's been quiet. His side are really struggling. Stankovic takes the acclaim of the fans at that end of the hall. The subs will run on to celebrate as well. They can feel something is happening here. Celebrations as they back their fellow Italians. with this serve. Point Kazan. But yet, though, and the crowd ooing and ahhing, and Simon turning on the star once more. He's almost unplayable right now. This match really falling back in Lube's favour. Held their course. Remember this is a repeat of last year's Champions League final. Zenit beating Lube 3 2 that day, winning the Champions League for a fourth season in a row. Zenit have a 3 2 record against Lube in the Champions League. Uh, all three of those wins have come in five sets.
Porto meeting in the final of the Club World Championship in 2017. Zenit won that one in straight sets. Gapet blocked again. Is this where the run ends? Fontaine. Anderson hitting that one over. Rosende retrieving. He needs to get himself back in the action, but it doesn't matter there because that is a massive kill from you, Andy Leo. Incredible. 14-6 now. Kazana crumbling. Absolutely smashed it. Fourteen six. Oh, take a bit of respite there for Kazan through Matt Anderson. Zende with the reverse there to Sokolov, and it just gets better for Lubeck. Kazana coming close here to having to write this set off. And hopefully themselves go on and do it in five. Simon. Mikhailov going down to reach it. Puts it out off Sokolov. Big sporting day here in Berlin. Final matches of the season in the Bundesliga, the German football top flight taking place. Hertha Berlin hosting by Leverkusen on the outskirts of the city in the Olympia Stadion. A sound crowd here inside the Max Smelling Halle. Over 9,000 watching this final, super final of the Champions League. Here, and this set should be theirs. Matt Anderson has the ball here for Zenit Kazan. Rosende for Sokolov, and he sends it cross court. Seen to here. Now serve. Good take there by the Libero. Juan Terena. Oh, the Libero for Zenit. Alexei Verbo sticking out an arm, but the 37 year old couldn't keep that one in play. Lube, 18 9 up. He's thinking right now. Oh, an amazing serve. Yoandi Leal, sensational stuff from him. Just 
trajectory on that ball is something else than Gapet could not deal with it. There's another. Well, on fire. So they move on to 20 points. They have an 11-point lead against Zenit Kazan, who are in trouble here. Fans doing all they can do, but do they have the rhythm in their play right now? Well, again serving for them. Not an ace this time. Mikhailov getting a point back for Kazan. Only just hit to the figures. Serving here, anti fans have his name on the back of their shirts. Stankovic with a terrific kill. Four more points required for the Italian side as they look to win this competition. What this group. Sorry, won this competition back in 2002. Overcoming Olympiakos, the Greek side. Fast forward 17 years, looking to do it all over again. They're not far away. Gapetova, Pontelena, Rosende coming through there was Leal. Phenomenal. Shirted fans behind him. Lekno looking glum. Volbic there with a point for Kazan. It'll go to celebrate there. The number four, he's serving. Oh, oh. They get themselves another point to edge closer and closer. Two more required to turn this one around in their favour. For last year, they were a set down before going 2 1 up and then lost in five overall. They won't want to repeat. serving here for Zenit Kazan. Business end of this third set. You got pets, audacious, inaccurate. The crowd rise here. First set point for Kuchine Lube Chivitanova. Finishes. Nice heavy Gapet. 
chance here for Lubeck to give themselves the advantage. Monterrey's serve. Point Lubeck, and that will do. An illegal action there. And the referee awarding that set to Kuchine Lube Chivitan over. 25-12 as well. An astonishing scoreline given how that first set went. They lost the first 25-16, but have won the two subsequent sets, conceding just 27 points in the process. 25-15, followed up just now by 25-12. And they are now just one set, ending this wonderful run Zenit Kazan have in the Champions League. Will it end here in Berlin? We will find out shortly. The fourth set to come in a few minutes. Set number four coming up then from the Max Schmeling Halle. And Lupe 2 1 up here as they were in the final last year. Have they learned their lessons? Can they see it through this time? We shall see. Bruno Rosende getting us restarted. Anderson. Andy Leal and Simon have been excellent for Lupe. In this resurgence, and they get the first point of the fourth set. Brazil legend Jiba also watching on here from the stands today. Great block there again, Simon. been absolutely immense. Have Zenit Kazan got anything left or have their heads gone? We do often see it with some Russian sides that their heads really drop when things go against them. 
As I said, they were 2-1 down in the final last year and came back to win in five. And it's going to take something very similar this year to win the Champions League for what would be a fifth year in a row. The first of which came here in Berlin. serve he won't want to end on a low point before leaving for Modena Fontarena serving here for Cucine Lube Civitanova the top division in Italy in 1996 have gone on to do great things since then in their hall they have massive banners representing every single title they've won and there could be another banner adding to that collection at the end of today Kazan won't want them to be that way though. That was a bad serve. Very long indeed from Alexei Samalenko. He's been a silver medalist in this competition before. Dinamo Moscow in the Russian capital. Kazan further out to the east. Mikhailov. Fontarena for Sokolov. Point one. Five three, Lube lead in what could be the final set. Simon serve. Gapet back in by the Libero Verbov. And Gapet at the net. Volvic there as well. Budko. And Gapet well blocked out. Lube opening up a three point gap here. This uh, replay, Simon showboating again, spinning the ball around on his finger. Here he goes with another serve. A bit different this time as he mixes things up and Gapet. Sokolov with the block, but not rewarding Kazan the point. serving here for Kazan. They established the lead they had. Four wins so far for Kazan in a row. Starting off in Berlin, as I was saying here in 2015. One in Krakow 2016, Perugia 2017, and at home in Kazan last year. Don't have the majority of the support in their favour this time. Gapet. His influence has certainly died off. He started this game so well. Oh, 
Ball spinning backwards. Mikhailov gets there before the Libero. Over by Anderson. Oh, and then two Lube players getting themselves in the muddle. And Sokolov has gone down here, holding his right foot. And he's going to need some medical attention here by the looks of things. He wants to get back up to his feet, but the physio is urging him to take his time. Patch him up. Looks like he'll be okay, which is good to see. Sand ready to get us restarted. They trail by two. Martin Volvic serving here for the Russians. On Terena. That one out of deflection, which is all good from a Lube point of view. As I said, they lost in the final last year, bronze medalists in 2017 and 16. It's been a long time since that previous gold medal. And it could well be around their necks again later on tonight. A challenge going on at the moment. Slaughter out on the near side. It's a service line pole that was called, but put in the perfect place. Ten six. Stankovic with the serve for Lube. He's certainly been important tonight. And Mikhailov there, having to make do. Alpha Sokolov. Going to drop on Lube's side there. And that one out now. They can watch that one go. Serve by Anderson to his opposite number Sokolov. Here comes Alexander Budko wearing number 12 to Yandy Leal. Simon. Well, can't get it over this time, no one's invincible. Having a great game recently, but stopped there by the Russian duo. Go again. Going to resent a serve. Out and Lube. Five points ahead at 13 8. Then 
there. You can see his shirt stuck to his body there. Such energy exerted by these players during this match. Brazilian poised to serve here. Inside 12 points from victory. Lechno. Mikhailov. Pushing forward for Juan Terena. Shades it in Gapet. Alekno back to Ngapet, but the point goes to Lube there. Two touches spotted. Fourteen eight. No one really saw this coming after the first set, that's for sure. Mikhailov blocked and into the corner. It was left open. A timeout called here by Zenit Kazan. Alekno has a big, big problem to sort here. Oh, the determination there from Zenit Kazan, but they are really struggling. 15-8 down in this fourth set, having won the first. Those Russian fans are going to be going home disappointed. It's a long way back to Kazan. Lube have the momentum. Anderson hit that one. The block giving Lube the chance though. Sokolov. There's another. They're on a point scoring run now. Simon looks to the crowd to try and get them to lift the side even more. And they know that this crowd is very much backing them. Zenit Kazan's wonderful run in this competition coming to an end. And they're still fighting them yet, shown there by Alexei Semolenko. serve. Leal met it. Simon hit it there at very close quarters. As it was set into his path. Great atmosphere, great day of action here in both super finals. Igor Gorgonzola Navarra beating Coneliano to win women's match earlier today. They'll be presented with their trophy at the same time as the winners of this one. Following this game, they'll be back out. still enjoying themselves despite the fact their side are trailing here. Six points behind. And what could be the final set 
of the Champions League this season. Layout. Over by Pet, only just. The block denying Lube at the moment, and again, three times now. Sokolov puts it down. Simon with his serve now. He's been so crucial to their success so far tonight. Oh, Lekno. Zender going down. Layout. Lekno sets it from Gapet. Oh, it's a cushion volley back inside off his right boot. He's showboating. Oh, but it fails in the end. Point Lube, and their fans will be loving that. Of course, you can touch it with any part of your body, there are no restrictions as long as it is a volley. Here. Nineteen eleven. And still going, but things remain as they are here. Then it will be Lube's name on the trophy. <laughs> Mikhailov serve, clipping the net. Sokolov all alone on that side. Tamon was going to drop in though. Layout, doing the business. Svetan Sokolov composing himself here. His side's so close now. Touched Anderson. And it's a point for Lube. And the Letno side very close to being beaten now. Looks like it's going to be double Italian success, but we have a timeout first. Called by Vladimir Alekno and Zenit Kazan. going again here for Lube, who need four points for glory. And there's another, twice in a row now, that serve has been miscontrolled. And again, Sokolov with the ace. Hit down the middle, twice it's Anderson who's made the error. Everyone gathering near the front now because they know the end of this match is in sight. Lube almost there. And there's another point towards their target. The Lube fans on their feet now. Sokolov with the serve once more. He's had a great run, but it ends here. Challenge 
Jones. No harm at this stage, really. Side almost there. Was out. Point stance. Libero there, Balasso. Three of them having to go up to try and stop it. 23 plays 14. Big serve here for Herbie Ingapet. It was left, and it goes down as an ace. Two successive points here for Zenit Kazan. And a timeout deep into this match. to win here. This is going to be double misery for Zenit Kazan, having lost in the final of their league championship to Kuzmas Kemerovo. Looks as though they're going to lose in the final, the super final of the CV Champions League. Unless they come up with one of the greatest comebacks in Champions League history. an ace. Doesn't this time, Sokolov is there. Rezende back inside, Sokolov will hit this. Only finds the net. Giving Zenit Kazan some faint hope here. Gapet can't make an error, otherwise he hands them Champions League points. Another ace. He's coming up with the goods at the right time. Surely Lube aren't going to let this go, are they? Time out, they're going to call. We'll have a break here. As Dick Yorki gets his side in. To try and end this momentum. Slightly, but it's still close to victory. The pet again. Astonishing stuff. The Blue Bears don't have the answers to him at the moment. Lili Kovar comes on to replace Osmani Juan Terena. Once more, has he got anything left in those arms? This time, Lube stop it. Lay out into Mikhailov. Alekno, Ungapet coming through. What a run this is for the Frenchman. Chivatanova with 23 12 up here. Now dropping out as Enrico Diamantini comes on. Just mix 
wrapping things up here towards the end. Inga Pet again. Resende. The only layout gets the point they needed. And now, Lube are in touching distance of this Champions League title. They just needed that point, and now they have the cushion. The Italian commentators alongside me here, ready to celebrate. Most of this hall ready to celebrate. Lube looking to end Kazan's run. Four successive years they've won the Champions League. Zenit Kazan. Can Cucine, Lube, Chivitanova hold their progress here? Leal with the serve. Alekno hit by Mikhailov. This is the opportunity for Lube. Can they finish it off? They'll try with Sokolov! That wins the trophy! A stunning finish from the Bulgarian. And the Italians are victorious for the second time today. Sokolov runs straight down to the other end of the court to celebrate with the fans. And Zenica Zana beaten in the final. Lube get their revenge for last year's defeat in Russia. This time around, it was to be their day. And Sokolov, the man who's going to join Kazan in the summer, is the match winner. Funny how sport can throw up those kind of storylines sometimes. He was amazing though, Robert Landy Simon. What a game from him. And Gapet was strong towards the end with that run of serves, but ultimately they were just about beaten by that point. Cucina Lube Chivitanova with their first European title since 2002. We'll celebrate long into the night here in Berlin. Zenit Kazan can still be proud of their efforts, but this time it is just a silver medal for them. They win a medal every single year. You can't win gold all the time. This year, the trophy heading back to the marches. Shivatanova Marche, to be precise. Lube, the winners of the 2018-19 Champions League. They were a set down 25-16, they lost the first, but they won the three after that to win this one in four. For them this time, it doesn't go to a fifth. The Italians can celebrate, they are victorious. The ceremony's coming up very shortly. Cucine Lube, Chivitanova, the winners of the 2019 CEV Champions League. Thank you.